Enhancing your 3D renders with AI is as simple as this. First of all, we're going to visit korea.ai forward slash home. I personally did like this tool a lot. There are a few other options, but this tool worked really well for me. Um, and I'm going to go upscale and enhance. Once you upload your image over here, it will automatically populate this window on the right hand side. You can choose your upscaling factor, you know, based on the resolution you need. Usually 2K is all right for me, but you can also do 4K uh, if you pay for the membership. And then I usually just open settings and clear this prompt because usually what I want to do is change out the avatar. So I would give any specifics about the avatar in this prompt. Maybe I can say supermodel with black hair and it will just try to factor that in when it enhances. You can also scroll down and mess with any of these settings. Basically they're just uh, allowing you to choose how much control you want to give AI over your image. And then you can also choose to write a negative prompt. For example, if I didn't want the dress touched, I could say dress or hands. I will say I don't think this is 100% accurate. There's still going to be, you know, some variation in even the parts that you add to this negative prompt uh, in my experience, but that's all right. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and type in anything you don't want affected and then you just click enhance. And you should have something like this. You can slide this bar over to see the original versus the upscaled and then you can download it with this tool over here. I will note that for me, sometimes I like to keep my 3D garment intact and only use the AI for uh, the avatar. So I'm going to toggle between the two so you can see what I mean. Um, without a doubt, sometimes the AI upscaler does wonders for our garment. In this case, it really did a very good job to enhance the details, but sometimes, especially with things like patterns and um, other design details, it can uh, mess up your original garment a little bit. So what I like to do is just open a Photoshop file with my upscaled and my original. And then I like to just use my erase tool or whatever selection tool you prefer to um, basically merge the two images. So now I see that the skin is being revealed of the AI upscaled avatar and I can keep my original dress intact. This certainly doesn't have to be an either or situation. If there's parts of the garment I really feel are stronger with the AI upscale, I can definitely use my erase tool to let those show through as well. For example, if I really preferred how the corset looked, I would just uh, erase the original image of the corset as well. Um, but this is kind of a hacky workaround. It just gives you a little bit more control than at this point in time you can get in the actual software. Hopefully this video was helpful and you can apply this technique to your 3D work.